Hello there, pleased to see you. Clear this ride up for you. Thanks, mister. So I conclude, you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Come on in. Now, let me see. People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. That is a local favorite. People around here come in just for those.
Now, what is your preferred color for this? A good coat could save your life. A great coat will look good doing it. All right then, but if there was anything in there that caught your eye, it'll be right here waiting for you. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Thanks, partner. Hello there. Hi there, mister. Bonjour, fellas. Mais bonjour. Any day of the week. Let me know when something catches your eye. That is a local favorite. So, what do you think? Wearing it out?
I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that. Excluding yours truly, of course. Something fancy like. Sharper than attack. My husband asked for a raise today, and it bought. Well, I guess we're all done here. Thank you very much, friend. Yeah. Hey, you! What you looking for? Hey, could you help me find an Anthony Foreman? Anthony Foreman? <laughs> I ask. Uh, goddamn. I don't man. recollect that name. I'd try the other. Hey, where you going? Shit! You pal just tripped me, but I'm still coming. <laughs> wants to see you.
I think you knew a friend of mine. Tilly Jackson. Tilly Jackson? I ain't heard that name in a time. Hey. You're not the... No. He was bigger. Look. If you're with that other friend of hers, I promise to stay away. And I did. Don't bring me in because of Tilly Jackson. Uh, things is long settled between us. But I ain't bringing you in for Tilly Jackson. I'm bringing you in because they're paying me. If my cousin was still here, you wouldn't have got me. I wouldn't have had to hide out in no slum, avoiding no bounty. When he got killed and we lost them other boys at Radley's house, that's when things went sour. The foreman's ain't been quite so much since then. Here's the station. I'm guessing you ain't on this side of town much. I wouldn't piss on these Finally, people if they justice. were burning. They did the crime. Now they're gonna pay the price. Anthony Foreman. He ain't society's problem no more. He's yours. Well, good to meet you finally, sir. I hope you find our accommodation suitable. Cells back there. Uh, sit down. Get comfortable. I ain't going anywhere. Well, you gonna want a hot bath after taking that trip through the slums. Actually, I like the slums. But... I'm gonna need a hot bath after coming in here. That's it. Well, police department is being modernized. We're going to try and arrest our own cripple, so... Okay, Missy. Move! Okay there. Quit wasting my time, you bleeding fool. Hello? Ma'am? You all right? Ma'am? You're okay, ma'am. Talk to me. I'm not gonna hurt oh. you. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Creepy bastard. 
bastards! What's the commotion? You a loon or something? This night folk country. Night folk? I can handle myself. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should clear out, though, if you're so troubled by things in the night. It's night folk. And I would. It's just... They on my property. Hey, w would you help me uh, get them off? I'd pay you for your troubles. Pay me, huh? Maybe. Show me where this place is. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Hey, it's just over there. You good man, partner. <laughs> Them night folk could put me on them. They got their paws on me. Hang me up on a hardwood hammock. Boy, I'm lucky I ain't dead as it is. Night folk. Oh, they bad people. Bad folk. Animals. A lot of them. You know, I ain't never heard no night folk speak. There's not been one peep out of no night folk. Not that I ain't heard it, at least. Imagine not uttering a sound. Can you fathom that? Mm -mm. What kind of evil don't make no sound? It's bad, all right. Bad. I mean, I don't meet many folk out here on my own, the most part. But I still speak, you know? I talk to myself, ain't no one else around. Chew my own goddamn ear off. I can imagine. Now, used to be the gators was the worst thing in the bayou. Gators and snakes. I've been snaked it more times I like to remember. Ain't been gator bit, though. Got that to be thankful for, at least. Gator bites is nasty. Mm. Then turtle bites is bad, too. They call them snapping for a reason. I've been known to snap, too. So, how about you keep it down? Oh, yes, partner. Yep. Uh-huh. That's probably best. Hey! Damn bats. Don't you worry about no bats. I'll tell you when you got to worry, all right. Look at that. He fresh. You see what I mean? This night folk work. I knew this fella. Good fella. Didn't deserve this. Now come on. Thank you. 
More damn bats. Slow down. Hey, hey. Poor fella on the tree been here for years. You think it's bad being a dead fella on a tree? It's worse when you're a live one with a stick through you. Lamps out. They might not speak, but they sure can see. Now, look out here. There's gators. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it? There we go. Up there. Night folk up to all sorts. You go deal with them. I'll be here with my rat gun. Okay. Do what you can. Oh, they got someone. Mm, poor fella. There we go. Up there. Night folk up to all sorts. You go deal with them. I'll be here with my rat gun. Okay. Do what you can. Oh, they got someone. Ooh, poor fella. be more of them. Uh, stay here. I'll see. I don't like this. Not at all. Oh, no more. Away from me. I got something for you now. How you doing? Give me a moment. What? Here you go, partner. <sighs> what is this? Swamp trash? No, that's some of the good stuff right there. You good man, mister. Damn decent. You gonna be all right here? I'll be fine. Night folk won't come here anymore. They dumb, but they ain't stupid. So long, then. Damn it!
easy to... Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. Come on, lady.
now. Brush it off. for me or was this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it you should think about that save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you.
stay by this post. Fella been, been, <sighs> nothing nice. A lot of folk gone missing over the past few years, and this sick son of a bitch, he ain't right in the head. That's so. <sighs> head on over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, well, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund, Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. Think he's killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Right here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, Sheriff. Where's a deputy when you need one? This goddamn place is rotten to the core. You new to the shop? Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. The prison has been tightening up on the gun laws since the turn of the century. Seven years later, my shop is still standing, thank God. Hey, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business.
Good. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Okay, need to close it. Let's go. Now, let's have a look. Yours now. Keep looking, no problem. Thanks for coming in. Heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure. Sure. Just head over that way. You'll be all right. Thank you, mister. Let's go, girl. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. This horse got worms or something. Damn, it's skinny. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Me some time there. Thank you. Excuse me, big man. Hey, whoa! 
trouble. When's the last time you fed your nag? Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. Look who it is. May I direct you to that bounty poster hanging on yonder wall there? Fellow's been going into construction yards in the night, taking tools and the lot. All kinds of folks is angry about this one, right up to City Hall. Oh, partner! How you doing? Buddy! Good morning. You looking for trouble? Hell, <laughs> you're back. Right, uh, good to see you, home. sir. So, uh, what's it be? This should hit the spot. Excuse me. Watch it. Can I get a room? It's all yours. Enjoy. Hey, chum. Oh, I'll be quiet, you moron. You're done for. You're done for, you scoundrel. I'm gonna break you. That was cute. <laughs> Sorry. Hit me. That's a bust. Morning to you. Hello? Oh. You got I'll any rooms? Mine is all yours. You got it hard to read. Let's go. Never should have let my guard down. Oh, think you're a real curly wolf, don't you? You son of a bitch. Hello there. Howdy, mister. I thought it worked so Hello, well. Hello, sir. You Flying doing? carriage. Oh, good. Look at this. Oh, oh, just no. ahead of your time. This is true. So keep your chin up. Thanks, All mister. Right. 
And next time I'll be you perhaps watch where you're going. What's going on in there? Ah. I got you, Sizendorf. You don't have anything on me. You want to take a bullet for a petty crime? Stop! There is no crime. Smoke yourself. The longer I chase you, the harder this gets. Then stop chasing me. Mistake. Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. Uh, you really don't need to do that. Unhand me! The indignity! Uh, think about it. Did you really see anything? It was dark. Many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. Gentlemen? It was like taking no something... Problems. Okay. Me, a respectable fellow, an upstanding citizen, or was I tying my shoe? This is the police station. You might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. My good name will be ruined. Shut it. Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent until proven. Quiet. There, there. Settle in. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. A crime is a crime. I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony. But this won't hold up in court. Huh? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But... Same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, when I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. 
Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Be a good girl now. <laughs> Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. A ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah, he's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always liked Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look. What happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. Come on. captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again, though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right.
Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. They're good. Looks there. like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. They'll be coming through here. Keep an eye on them. Keep moving, okay? be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? <sighs> the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and... Let's go.
just not be the death of us. Come on. Look out, Sadie. They're on to it. It's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, I'll follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We are doing this together. Keep close. Rocky pants. Too fast. Blow us. Let's get closer.
dead. Hell, that's what you get for robbing me, Langton. Shit! That damn harpy! Are you with her? Are you with her? What's it look uh, like? Let's get Finley! Get him out of here! Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. It didn't work out for you before, woman! Get on. You should let ah. I got a feeling this time will be different, Finley! Down the canyon! Let's ride! Look out! On the rope, friend! I need to relieve myself. Keep up, won't you? Don't leave us again, John. <laughs> There'll be a bucket in yourself. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to... I don't need to be hit. I just... Want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. <clears throat> How'd it work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind. And we'd like good to have you along some more. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Be careful. Come on, the jail's up here. Almost there, Finley. Hold. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a best. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. I can't be seen having anything to do with this kind of thing. Ah, boo! Bastard! Hey, no need to take out your bad mood on me. I, I object to this! Put him on the bed. 
We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Direct you to that bounty poster hanging on yonder wall there. Oh, oh the Skinner of the Skinner Brothers. Well, well, well. It says they took the belt off a of pelt hunter southwest of Manzanita Post. Stranger. Great. Three sheets to the wind, I reckon. Let's get out of here. What are you doing to that horse? It's starving. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. Sounds odd to say, but I might be in love with this horse. It's that good. 
I can't tell you how many times I use that one. This horse will pass for nobility when I'm through. Be sure to let everyone know where you got this nag groomed. A good choice. service. Be safe.
have some fun with you when we find you, mister. You know what skinners do to their dead? you're gonna make me, Mr. Skinner? It won't be worth what I'm gonna do to you. Guess we'll see about that. Let's go, boy. This ain't over, mister. Not by a long shot. Oh, be quiet. Overcomes by force, hath overcome but half his foe. You can stop me, all right, but not what I started. 
No one shall be safe. No one shall find shelter from the storm that's brewing. Your roads ain't safe. Your beds ain't safe. Your wives, your daughters, your sons, your fathers. The slaughter is only just begun. Look out. I got Otis Skinner here for you. God damn, get him in the cell already. Ain't this a charming little jailhouse? <laughs> I'll be comfortable enough. Ah! God damn, god damn. I got your bounty money here. Honest work for honest pay. You should know there has been a cessation in the issue of the bounty. You're a good boy. You're gonna be mighty handsome. Hey, boy.
Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <clears throat> For you, boy. <laughs> Hey! 
Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I uh, think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, though it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. You were gonna say... When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, 
He's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Buy your tools, John. I want like I said, Nils is a, an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men. Oh! Find some cover! Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, we'll stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on!
on top of us! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Dear Lord, no. All right. Let's get out of here. Come on. Help me. Oh, my Lord. What they doing to us? Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, uh. Uncle! Uh, I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that.
Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. <laughs> Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got? which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this.
And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Oh, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, 
goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. There, boy. Get your horse. In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country roof doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> well, I gotta respect him for it, cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? jawing about before? Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, this is him. You're in enough debt as it is. I got the head. Give you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, buddy. If they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I... But this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. It split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And 
we're gonna get to him first. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some in California. And some are regular Americans, too. Wait for me! Okay. Oh. Yes. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a bad situation down there. Burning, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Hold your horses! Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hire. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. By all means, continue. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. This is Painted Sky up here. It looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Uh, it'll all be over soon. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Well, hello. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get him. 
get them ready for you. Hello. Good work, boy. How do you do? Hi, mister. dollars to kill that bitch. Ooh, huh? Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. What's old? He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of them. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. 
So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Now, I was saying... Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah! <laughs> I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Let's ride! Come on! They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
Easy a long time ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down! Oh. Crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean okay, to, let's Mrs. Go. Adler. Oh. Hey, boy. Good to see you. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? <laughs> Thank you. 
was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse. About to be taken to say Get him down. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Good boy.
could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, good, good. The name's William, by the way. I need to collect a big batch of this current here. You'll find the fruits hanging from bushes. It doesn't thrive near water, so I wouldn't waste your time looking there. Ready, boy? Okay, boy. Hey, get back! Think this is what you're looking for. Let's have a good look at this. Hmm, yeah, this is perfect. This will make a fine meal for my horse, uh, if I don't keep it all for myself. When I drink a tonic from these currents, it's like the clouds fall away. I can focus on anything. <laughs> You've been a great help. I've bottled up this tonic for you as a reward. This special elixir will set you right, no matter your wrong. It's all...
How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. 
And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinner's. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about it. Should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards top the trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking? Talking about if it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to? I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. To the trees. Come on.
Up there, to the right. Two skin. Look out. Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. Hold it. Easy, easy. Let him go. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick, he won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. 
Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Keep on him! No! He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up... Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay, let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on.
Nothing yet. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, uh. Like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Here we go. Ready? Got him? Than it is. Which don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. 
He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I don't feel good. Does it look okay? <sighs> Uncle. Uncle. Hey. Come here. Alright. Let's get you done. You see. I got you. I got you. Come Let's on. get him out there. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah. Exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on!
How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you got to be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So... You don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At... Fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. Can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just... land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I've, this is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. I want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How do you feel? I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. 
Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. They like him, Paul. Can you go start to the other side of the track? I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Keep going! Don't swallow it! Spit it out! Dad! Rufus, no! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes, you just don't know how things are going to turn out. But, but the dog... The dog's going to be fine. It's okay, son.
Let's give you some exercise. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Ann! <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We've... I'm sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. All armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. You want to work? Let's do it. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither, but <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think 
I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married. made me real happy. We're cutting off the main tree. Back up here. Up the fans I need to post. So, we're coming up on where he's been safe. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky Skinner Brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> this fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. No shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Ah! <laughs> 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 
He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Darwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe it. We didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. <sighs> yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Who's this up here? Is that... Are you... Stop! Ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about it? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But but Micah? That's something we well, I I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here we are.
Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. woman was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back it's walk or work old man i've got lumbago <sighs> you'll have more than that in a oh, minute oh, oh, john tell her about my health do what the lady says i worked my fingers to the bone building this place abigail roberts marston abigail marston miss marston to you miss marston to you why you let him stay he's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just... Over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. Send your Pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> and now the black water.
there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh. I ain't had a drink and... Well... I left those things behind me. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh... Decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters? Portrait? There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Portrait it is. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the Drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Well, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River. But they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. Try to enjoy. 
think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. Very good. How's this? Perfect. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. There you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's... it's real fine doing normal things. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. She's incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <sighs> what are you doing with that arm? <laughs> I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a 
piece of work. Really? Shh. <laughs> oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? you're asking something, just ask it. Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up, I am married to you. No, I mean proper, in front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I... I never... I didn't know what mattered to me. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs>
dragon dead. And Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <sighs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks as fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Good boy. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No. That work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life, well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, wait, hey, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here too. South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Okay, Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this boat. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. I got this covered, John. Go over that bridge. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey. murder! Hey, stop! Stop! I'll head him off! 
Can't escape us, Cleve. Ain't no point in trying. Come here, friend. I don't know this night. He got past. Oh, Clay. Remember us? Oh. Jones, you're gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Hey, 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 hey! Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Don't dig your heels in. Everyone loves a hanging. Come on. No shit, no. <sighs> You heard the lady. Get up there. Stop it. Keep moving. Listen to me. No, move. No, 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 no. Come here, you ah. bastard. Move it. Come on, move. Here, I want you stood right here. All right, string the no good murder ambassador up. Put it around his neck. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me! Where's Micah? Talk! Or I'll pull this lever! Talk! No, 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 no. Stop! Wait, 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 wait. Keep back, all you. He's up in the mountains. I think it's... He's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm... I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. No. No. He's done. Thank you. Well done. Come on! A little rat said Mount Hagen. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp.
can lose you too. Get uh, on there. I got the hunter out of here. A box of bullets. Can't Son of a bitch. You're okay. Hey? I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just 
Go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. Uh, I'll be up look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just... Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? What the hell? Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Boom! 
Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hm? And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming, John! You just right. run away! Mrs. Adler, it's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money, we got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started it. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. <laughs> Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, master. Say something, Dutch! Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good.
Thank you. Up. Up. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in come and come and lay by my side right here to where the river turns to dust and God is never rush come and lay by my side right here red I love you Seem to make sense when Brother Santo said oh, one more won't be enough. I'm gonna be enough. Money for everything, silver toed boots and kerosene. Uh -huh. Come and lay by my side, right here. Red, I love you. For the buzzing thick and the choking, I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side, right here. Red, I need you in the world. When I see you behind the glass, I forget that I'm in the cage. They bring me to Sunday mass, but it never. The rage, red. I love you and the world. Seven months gone and seven years to go, red. I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side, right here, red. I love you and the world, red. I need. You. All right, John Marson, since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money I... I don't want to talk about that money. No more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own, raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. 
Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. What has gotten into you? Fun as it is seeing you vexed. I was only joshing you. Do you see me laughing? And go. Everything tended to? Hiya. Hello. You're confusing the boy. supposed to be here. Get lost. I told you, get lost. Okay, okay. Ain't you serious? <laughs>
How's that horse doing? I got space for you if you need stabling. Choice, sir. Good saddle will go a real long way. Trust me. You must be a connoisseur. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. You won't regret it. I really think your horse will appreciate it. I'm convinced horses love that. Okay. It'll look great on your horse. Hey, move! Remember to rest that horse sometime. Out of the way! You, mister! Save me some time there. Thank you. Where the hell are you, you damn swindler? Hey, you, I need a hand here. This damn con man sold me a serum made from rhino horn for a little problem I've been having. It didn't work, so I took it to a pharmacist. Turns out it's just water, table salt, and flour. You gotta help me find the bastard. Ah, all right. So, uh, which way do you go? Not sure. I reckon he's hiding in town somewhere. I'll keep looking here. If you can check the other side of the river. You know what? Get out of here. What are you waiting for? Fellers? Hello. Uh, howdy. This is a new low. Whew. <laughs> What's that smell? Hey there. Sell any miracle cures lately? Hear that rhino horn is real hard to come by. Shh. I get it. I get it. Just keep it down, will you? That limp dick sent you here, didn't he? He's a vile man. All right. Well, hello. Any man. luck? Your swindler's waist deep in shit over behind the woodworks. Okay. I'm gonna make him drown in that shit hole. Oh well. Nothing broken. Boy.
Hey, boy. Nice of you, thank you. No, I cannot take this. Settle down, okay? Get back! 
Okay, okay. <laughs> easy, easy. Ready, boy? Let up. For you, sir. If it wasn't for you, whoo, how lucky we are. The hero we so require. Armadillo is indebted to you. Though I fear it may be beyond saving. I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I packed my valise. But the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Glad I was able to help you out of that, Sheriff. Said you won't stick around. <laughs> well, so long. I must see about a train.
stay away. The cholera is still raging. Mister? Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died, most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the scarlet fever. Then it was the desert plague. Then typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. Whole town's got cholera! Here, you can read for yourself. Thank you. Place is done well. Hello. Everybody, get out of here. Armadillo Hi, is done well. Can't you say we don't see many new faces around here. The town in his hand. Give me something to drink. There you go. Beer and whiskey's about the only thing left that's safe to drink in this town. I should warn you, I'm sick, but so is pretty much everyone else around here. Don't worry yourself about that. Hey, fella. Stranger. Wake up for your stop. You're very kind. I still can't get the lovely Susan to even look at me. Where you go? Comunque. What you waiting for? 
power. Hello, mister. Mister? Move! 
Hey, mister. Howdy. Behind you, partner. <coughs> hey, mister. there. Welcome to Joseph Bonds. Pills and potions are behind me. Candy's down there in front. Okay, let's see what I want. Again? Stocking up. Another? Sure. Again? Stocking up. Another. Sure. Stocking up. Another. Sure. Again. Stocking up. Another. Sure. Stocking up. Another. Sure. Okay. Again? Another? Sure. Again? Stocking up. Again? Another? Sure. Stocking up. Again? Another? Sure. Again? Stocking up. Another. Sure. What you see here are the only real miracles on offer. Mmm. There. Appreciated. Stocking up. Again? Look 
Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Come on in. First time? Let me know if you have any questions. Got my candies in the middle there, tobacco in the corner, food and sundries to the sides, and the booze is up by the counter. You want the full range? Just have a look through the catalog. Now, let me have a look. All yours. Repeat by, huh? You got it. Again? My pleasure. Another? All right. Again? My pleasure. Pleasure. I'm glad that's fixed. I knew Saint-Denis would call you back to me sooner or later. Please look around. Much to see. My advice? Water it down. Why just have one, huh? A spare? Okay. Sure. A 
trust nobody's missing this too much. Interested in one of my charms? I just hope nobody's missing this. Shoot! He's here! Shoot! 